One of the beautiful memories that I have as a child of the season during Advent and Christmas season is the memory of cleaning house. During this time as a child, my mother would force us in a sense to clean every single part of the house, taking down the curtains, cleaning the windows, taking out the carpets, you know, just a big cleaning moment in the house. And the reason for that was usually that we are cleaning because of Christmas. As a child, it frustrated me because I didn't want to clean. But as I grow, grew older, I, I understood what was the meaning of that. Because Advent is actually just that, preparing yourself for the coming of Christ. Now we know it's more than just about preparing yourself for the historical birth of Christ, but also looking forward in hope to the second coming of Christ. There's a lot of disappointments that people have experienced during this year. There's a lot of dreams for many people that did not come through in the way they expected. But when we look into Advent and Christmas season, it is a time for us to take up hope once more. To believe that even in the midst of the darkest moments, that the baby that was born in that stable, that that baby is the Emmanuel who gives us hope. So my prayer for you is that you will experience that hope in a tangible way during the season of Christmas and especially here in Advent. That you will find that this preparation that we are doing here on earth in a sense is also God calling us to be His voice and His feet and His eyes and share the love that He has given us for the people that need it most. That person might be yourself. So I extend the love of God to you, His grace, His peace, most of all His hope. May it cover you. May you receive it. May you journey in it. And may you be blessed by it. Have a blessed Christmas season with your family and may God be with you. Thank you.